Hey, what's up, guys? This is MacHeads101. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Finder window. So, um, first off, you can customize it. I have this little customize icon. If you don't have that, you can just right click by pressing Control click, or you can go up to View and click Customize Toolbar. So, I'm just going to click Customize, <coughs> and you get all these little icons. You can say drag the Get Info icon or whatever you want, and you can always get the default thing that comes with it. I like to um, move that space down, take that small space and put it there, and also drag the customize icon right there. So it looks like that. Also, these are flexi fit. So um, what you see is they stretch. Like, um, well, these some spaces are going to stay si the same size no matter what, and some spaces actually change size. And if you put the flexi fit, Fit you can like uh, it's a great way to make your like search things smaller. So yeah, next thing is if you don't want the top thing and the side thing, the the top thing and the side thing, you can just press this little icon, or you can press Command or Apple Option or Alt and T. So Apple Option T, and yeah. And the last thing is um to customize the icons and stuff like that. You can press Apple J. And um, so you're going to get this little window, and it lets you customize whatever window is clicked on. So if I click on my desktop, it changes because I can't have those features for my desktop, and for this, I can. Because, yeah, your background for your desktop is in system preferences, not in this little window. <coughs> so, first thing is. You can um like change the size, you can change the spacing, keep them close together or a little far apart. You can change the text so I can make it the text really small, not the icon, the text with the text really big. I like to keep it around twelve. You can actually um position the label of the icon or the on right now it's on the bottom, but here you see the label is on the right. I like it on the bottom can show the info to show what's inside of each folder so you don't have to go inside searching. can show a preview for the icon. You can arrange them. Uh, like if I said snap to grip, I could just drag this wherever I want. But I like to stay organized, so I'll keep it by name. You can also arrange it by date modified and uh, date created and stuff like that. You can actually apply a background inside of a finder window. So, if I make a background, uh, I can make a color background, and right now it's white, but I can just drag this little dot wherever I want. Let's make it green, and make it however dark I want. Uh, I will make it bright green. Okay, so let's say you did this, or, or you took a picture from somewhere in your thing. Let's see, what should we do? That looks pretty good, the tiger picture. So let's say you make your thing like this. Now let's say I go to my applications folder. What do you know? It looks completely different. What happened to all the settings I switched? So if you want to keep your settings, you go back, and you see this little button right there, or kind of big button, use as defaults. If you click on that, that'll keep your settings to the vault. So um, everything will be... Um, Right now, this isn't on the default settings. I can use whatever I want as the default settings. <coughs> so, um, yeah. But I'm actually going to set my default settings back to white. And, yeah. So then if you create a new folder or something like that. So, uh, I'm just going to give you an example of what default settings are. Also, you can change the icon if you have the icon size with the pinch thing if you have the multi-touch trackpad kind of like on the iPhone so like let's say I um pick, take the color bright blue okay then I use it as my default now if I make a new folder and I'll just call this what whatever you see that inside I'll call it Bob Inside this, it's like this. But if I have go I have folders where I already have settings for it, like if you already set settings for it, then it'll stay the same. But for all your new folders, 
it'll look like that. So, um, thank you very much. I hope you understand. If you like this video, give it a five star so I can know what I should get. And I can get feedback from you to know what kind of videos you like to watch. And, of course, subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.